All right. So I did a video not that long ago where I talked about my Xbox year in review, and I thought, why not finally do one on the Nintendo Switch because I just saw this on the home screen. I would have done one about Steam, but I checked the email notification. I barely did anything on Steam all year. This is kind of a surprise, especially seeing how I've got a gaming PC, desktop PC over here in the same room. And, of course, I'm not going to do anything about PlayStation because I honestly don't play PlayStation very often. So let us see 2023 year in review for Nintendo Switch. I'm expecting a lot more than Xbox because I really do love the Nintendo Switch and I try my best to play it as often as I can. So let's see what we got. Because, yes, we got to be reminded 2023. I mean, I'm expecting a lot of Pokemon on here, of course. And yes, that is me. So let us see what we got. First game of 2023 was Pokemon Scarlet, of course. I mean, I've also got Pokemon Violet, and eventually I'll get the DLC for that one too, just to get the other Paradox Pokemon. But I mean, this is a pretty accurate one. Of course, I've been playing a lot of this one and Shiny Hunting, so that works. Totals. What do we got? 10 total games? Almost 1,100 hours. Now, if only I could stop the motions right here. But, I mean, Pokemon Scarlet, Legends Arceus, Sword, Violet, AEW 5 Forever, Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Shining Pearl, Snapper Elite 4. I haven't even played the Red Dead Redemption game. I may have opened it, like, once, just to make sure it was there. But, I mean, I didn't even play that. And I thought I would have played, like, maybe Brilliant Diamond a little bit. But, yeah, it's been a lot of Pokemon. And I mean a lot. Even though a lot of times I'm probably not playing it, I'm just leaving it on the home screen or something like that. But I mean, I'd say this is pretty accurate. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I played AEW 5 Forever because the game was blah. Most played games this year, of course. Pokemon Scarlet, Legends Arceus, Pokemon Sword. I mean, massive gap here. I mean, seeing how I never even turn off my Nintendo Switch, I just leave it on standby mode even when I'm away from home and not carrying around like if I'm at work. I'll just leave it like saying it's the active game that I can instantly go back to, but that's probably the extra amount of hours. Yeah, it started most played month, January. You can just say it's every month. Uh, the other one's Legends Arceus. Most played month, July, of course, because I kept playing through this game in order to Keep trying to shiny hunt any outbreaks and everything like that. Then Pokemon Sword. Of course, expected it because I was doing the Dynamax Adventures. Still haven't gotten all the shiny legendaries. I may want to try to get another shiny Duraludon through there if I ever go back to this game. Just so I can evolve it. I've already got a shiny Duraludon, but I want to get a second one just to evolve it into the shiny form of the new Pokemon that it's got. Your gaming trends. Role-playing games, of course, probably being Pokemon because... That's the kind of thing you got. Act, character driven, action, fighting, and sports. Sports, of course, being the AEW game. Action, maybe they're talking about Sniper Elite 4, but I don't even remember playing that that much. Month by month, you're, most, you're played most in January, 192 hours. Probably don't remember that. In month play time, see, this is probably all the differences. Of course, they're not going to count December because December hasn't happened yet, but barely January more than June. Big surprise there, I'm, and I'm not sure how May suddenly spiked up in there. I would have expected more in April because that's my birth month. Weird. So, let's see. 31 days worth of Pokemon er, back in January playing Pokemon Scarlet. Of course I was going to play that because it was a new game. Gen 9, I believe, we're right now. Somewhere like that. February. You played it for 27 days. Here we're going to go month by month. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not going to go through every single month. It's just going to be like, hey, you played this game all year. Favorite year, or favorite game in the year for 2023. Scarlet, Legends Arceus. So I can act they're actually letting me choose. Pokemon Sword, Violet. I mean, I barely played Violet because I keep focusing on Sword, or, sorry, Scarlet. Eventually I'll get back to Violet when I purchase the DLC when I can, just to get the other stuff. I'll finish this playthrough here, but... I liked Scarlet more, especially with the, uh, whatever the main Pokemon is. I can't remember the name of the legendaries now. AW5 Forever, I only kept playing this just because I needed footage for the game and tried to unlock the characters. I still haven't even unlocked Owen Hart. 
Because, again, I can't remember last time I even tuned the game. I mean, I know there's Season 2 that's been coming out for the Bass. But I don't know if it's out by the time this video comes out. Because I know they delayed it for the Nintendo Switch compared to everything else that this game is available on. Shield. I mean, I played Sword more because it's the main game that I kept going through. Let's go Pikachu just for shiny hunting. I even tried getting shiny Bulbasaur in here. And instead I ended up getting it in a trade through Pokemon Home. And then afterwards I got it right afterwards in Pokemon Go. Lovely. Shining Pearl. I'm surprised I didn't play more of that. I mean, I think I might have checked this through the safe file recently. Snipperly 4, yeah, less than an hour. Red Dead Redemption, like I said, I simply opened up the game. Then nothing else. So if I had to choose a favorite game this year... ...that I played... I'm gonna have to say Scarlet just because, like, the new Pokemon I do have a love for. The Shining Hunting has been amazing and far easier compared to this. I mean, I would have chosen Legends Arceus, but it's just like, like I said, I would just go back to the game, go through the outbreaks, and it's like, oh, I don't have any other Pokemon to catch, and then I leave the game and go back to Scarlet. And eventually I will do a video on the gaming channel showing all my games to my Nintendo Switch, like, to show how big of a library there is, because, holy crap, it's insane. But, I mean, yeah, let's I find a game I enjoy, I really, really stick to it as long as I can. Download your stats. No, last time I downloaded my stats, it involved Tinder, and I'd rather not relive that. Here's to you, your balance. Yeah, I still have 503 gold points and platinum points. I, I gotta figure out what to do with these platinum points, because I don't really know what to do with them. Thank you for being an online member. Check out the catalog. Yeah, I know. You ready for 2024? Princess Peach Showtime. First time hearing that. Mario and Donk versus Donkey Kong. Luigi's Mansion 2, I do have on my wish list. Like, I never played it. I know it was like 3DS exclusive. And I do love the original, and I thought 3 was really good, but I love the original more. Who knows when this one's going to come out sometime in 2024, but can't wait. So, anyway. Let me know y'all thought in the comment section below. If you guys have seen your Nintendo year in review, let me know what games and stats you got up there. But I mean, yeah, who knows what's going to happen in 2024. Although there's not going to be another Pokemon game. We we need a bit of a break there. There's an oversaturation of this, okay? I mean, heck, I haven't even played Pokemon Snap 2 yet. Or the new Pokemon Snap or whatever it is. And that's saying something. I got to win and release. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, and good day, everybody.